Does your property suffer with erosion and you're trying to wonder what to do? I'm going to show you how we managed our erosion using swale systems and a massive food forest to complement it. These are our large swales and as you can see, they've been designed on contour. So the whole entire length of the swale is actually level. It will play with your eyes a lot because you'll be standing at one end and looking up at the other end, even though that end is lower than the end you're standing on. And that's crazy because your eyes can be so deceived. But the reason I'm telling you about this is we have a whole hill behind us and the water runs off the hill into the swale system. And instead of just rolling down a hill like it normally would and creating these massive lines of erosion, it's been slowed down so it can soak into the ground. Our ends of our swales are also slightly higher so it gets stored in the swales. Then the amazing thing happens where this swale hits a certain amount of water it needs to hold and it will allow the water to flow down directly into the next swale. And we have vegetation growing even in the paths of where the water flows. We can show that it slows the water down to a dramatic point. For instance, over here, this is solid ground, but as you can see, this is our road, it's eroded. And that is because the water has not been managed properly and it's coming down this hill at such a rapid rate and going directly down the middle of our road. And a lot of people think the same thing's going to happen when they have swales and they have a large amount of water or rain that comes through. Well, it's simply not true. If you look after your swales and they are covered in vegetation, that vegetation is going to hold, hold the swale together very well. Not just that, this water is slowed down. You don't need to stress about a massive line of erosion coming or no plants growing around the outside of your food forest. On the other end of our swales is our emergency runoff. It's actually a bit higher than this part of the swale, but if we get rapid runoff, that side will also overflow into the next swale instead of only having one side taking all of that water. If you do have a flash flood, don't stress. You're not going to erode your swales out. Also, don't forget, if you're building swale on an angle greater than 15 degrees, you are at risk of blowing it out. We have some of our swales at 18 degrees, but they are large enough and stable enough to be on that angle. So be mindful, you can get up to 18, 19 degrees. I would not be stepping past 19 degrees, but 15 degrees for a small or medium swale is your safe angle. And if you wanna learn how to build a swale physically in real life, and practically, we can show you all the methods and how to implement swales into your property today. We have a workshop coming up and you can book your tickets at Vast Harvest Permaculture. Thank you for watching.